Hey guys, today is a day that's kind of rainy and sticky and muggy outside, so I decided to do a video from inside today, which I usually don't do very often, but I'm going to do one today. I want to do a one. I want to do a video about budget cuts to how to save on your budget. A lot of guys coming over here, they're coming over here. They they want to save money. They want to put money aside or something like that, or maybe. You're having a rough month or you had a bill come up that, that maybe is hitting you really hard and you're trying to figure out ways to, to save some money or whatever. And this, this video is going to be for you guys. Um, also, um, I want to talk a little bit about like food and stuff like that. I want to add this in here, ways to save on food. And the Philippines is a perfect place to save on food because with rice here, rice is the main meal. Now, there's a lot of people over here, a lot of the older guys that come over here and they have diabetes or whatever. Um, you can still have certain rices in your meal, like the whole grain rices and the, and the, the black rices and stuff. Those are really, really good for people that are di have diabetes or whatever. But you still should get up and go out and walk or whatever. I'm a person, um, I'm pre-diabetic, but I still go out and walk and I try to get out and I exercise a lot. So I, I can still have what I want, kind of, but I just go out and walk it off. Um, here's one. Of the, I'm going to start getting into foods first as, as a way to save money. What I do is when I get up in the morning, um, and I'm not a big money saver per se, but I, I kind of live this way, and it is kind of a way to save money. A lot of people like to have their, their bacon, their eggs, and their hash browns in the morning for breakfast, and they like to go out to get a cup of coffee somewhere or have a cup of coffee at home. <clears throat> I say make it at home, you know? And um, for me, I'm a person, I'm a Cheerios person in the morning. I, like, I love to have my Cheerios, and, and Cheerios are cheap. They're very cheap, and I use like like uh, skim milk or, or you know uh, regular milk, or whatever. It to me, it really doesn't matter what milk I use. But a lot of times, I use uh, skim milk because to me, when it's with the cereal, it tastes kind of the same because it has that. It takes on the flavor of the cereal or whatever. But it saved that saves you money. And also, guys, when when you're on this time, when you're trying to save on your budget, it's a good great time to try to lose weight, cut back on your food a little bit, and just say, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this this bad time that I'm going through to try to lose some weight or whatever. And that's a great time to lose weight. But, um, you know, there's this, this macaroni and cheese there's this macaroni. You can do a lot with macaroni. Let's face it. You can put tuna in it. You can do whatever you want with it. You can make spaghetti. Um, there's another way to save some money. These are all ways to, to cut back on your budget. And also you can do like fried rice. A lot of people like fried rice and you can make a meal out of that with a little bit of chicken or whatever. And those are, those are really cheap and easy meals to make. And you can put it in the refrigerator and it lasts a few days too when you make a big, huge bowl of rice or whatever. And sometimes you can put it in the plastic containers and freeze or whatever. But I really want to get into the other ways to, to cut back on saving. And a lot of guys, if you're doing permanent savings, you really want to save on per, we always talk about the, the low cost homes over here. For 60 bucks, I showed that one the other day, the one down the end here for 60 bucks, the, the unit down there for 60 bucks. That's perfect for people that are trying to save. You slap a little paint on that, you 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 put in a toilet with a tank in there, or even if you if you can live with the Filipino toilet, that's fine. It even saves you more. But I mean, you put a little refrigerator in there on the counter or on the floor or whatever, and then you put a table and a bed in there and you know all that, you're all set to roll. Um, as far as internet, some homes here, you can live with a hotspot off your phone. You can have the hotspot on your phone and use that for your computer or for your TV or whatever. It might be good enough. Try it to see if it works because some places the hotspot's fine. You know, and you can get some services where you can get some um, almost unlimited hotspot depending on which plans you have with Smart or or um, Global, whatever. They have these plans when you, when you buy the... Um, not the hotspots, but they have a thing that you can put in and it gets the data from the cell phone tower and it brings the, the, the Wi-Fi into your house. You can get those too. You can buy plans for those where they're almost unlimited or, or, or there's just so much data on it, you don't have to worry about it. I buy a lot of data for my phone anyway. I get it through the Magic Data Plan. And, you know, I, I, I have Wi-Fi in the house, but also if you really want to make a deal with somebody and you want to talk to your neighbors, say, hey, listen, you guys got Wi-Fi. Um, listen, I'm willing to pay half or whatever or, or piggyback onto your Wi-Fi. Are you guys willing to do that? And sometimes you can you can do that also. And you, your Wi-Fi will probably be decent enough that you can do what you need to do. And that's a way of doing it too, saving some money that way. <clears throat> the other thing is, if you're living alone and if you have a sm get a smaller refrigerator, because most people don't need like a huge refrigerator. I have... This refrigerator here, 
and I have another refrigerator over there. Okay, so I have those those two refrigerators. Okay, because we have we have a, a pretty decent sized family here, and I like having two refrigerators in case one breaks. I can just throw everything into the other one. Um, eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, a, a generator. So if the, we if we have a go down in electricity or whatever, I can I can hook both those up to that, and I'm I'm ready to to roll, and I don't have to worry about my my food thawing out or whatever too. But also, guys, air conditioning. A lot of guys love to have their air conditioning. Here's what I say. If you want to save on air conditioning, <clears throat> just get your bedroom air conditioned, okay? Don't do the other ones. What I do is when I want to air condition my other room, I have a one horsepower split type in the room. That one horsepower split type pretty much does both rooms, okay? It, it, it cools out here enough that it's dry out here. I'm not sweating. Uh, if, if, if it does get really, really hot outside, I just stick the fan on. Um, if you want to save when you go outside and you're sitting outside, shut off your AC in here and don't turn it back on until you come back in. That'll save you a little bit, but it has it's going to be flipping on. And sometimes if, if you're just going out for like 15 minutes or a half an hour, an hour, I wouldn't shut it off. I just let it roll. Maybe t turn, put it up a notch in temperature. So it, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll shut off quicker and it won't be cycling, you know, as it, it you know, on for the whole time where you're outside or whatever, put it up a notch. So it'll be on 23, put it on 24 Celsius or whatever. That's a way to save your money. But also guys, housing is definitely going to be the biggest money saver here. For anybody that's living in the Philippines, housing is where your money is at. A lot of guys think when they come over here, they, they forget, well, geez, I got a three, I got a $3,000 budget or $2,000 budget or $1,500 budget. And they're out looking at homes that are $400 in a gated community or whatever, when you can get one for 60 and you can walk outside my house and any, most people that come here say, Steve, I don't hear any roosters. I don't hear any dogs barking. I don't hear any noise here. You got to look around and find places like that. They're out there. You know, you have to go out and find them for 60 bucks, 60 US dollars. You know, you can find a place over here. And also guys, if you want to really do something where you're going to save on your AC, put in a ceiling fan. Put in a ceiling fan and it'll blow the air and it'll make it feel cooler in your house and it'll feel much better. You know, put a ceiling fan in your bedroom, over your bed. Guess what? It's going to feel cooler. You're going to have that fan blowing on you at night. You don't need your, and if you have your AC going, you can set it higher because that 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 air blowing at you is going to make it feel cooler. So you, you can save electricity that way too. Even though your ceiling fan is going to be going, the ceiling fan doesn't use that much electricity. It's very low electricity because it doesn't turn super fast, number one, and it just barely goes. It just goes around and it circulates the air in the room a little bit better and everything. That's a good way to save. There's also other ways to save also. Make sure you keep your doors shut so the AC is not going, going in and out all the time. Um, possibly put curtains up. That keeps your AC from going out through the windows and it's le not letting the heat in through your windows. Get some thicker curtains or whatever. Put that in your room. Keep your room darker during the day. That keeps it cooler. You know, like when you have those 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 curtains shut, that keeps it cool. It saves you money. All those things will save you money, guys. But, the, the, you know, like a lot of and going out to dinner, cut back on that. Eat here. Eat at home. Or if you got to go out to dinner, try to get something off the value meals or whatever. Get like a like a spaghetti at McDonald's or or something cheaper that's that's more that fits your budget more. If you have to really cut back that much, cut back. Go to KFC. They have, they have meal deals there too. Don't be going to the more expensive restaurants. You know, try to cut back wherever you can cut back and find the meal deals and do those deals. You'll, you'll be doing much better there too. Now, most of the guys that are over here, most of the guys are not on money-saving budgets, at least in my group. My group, we have most of the people here, they don't really have to worry about money too much. But I understand a lot of people are trying to save or whatever. We have a couple of guys in my group that, that, that do try to save they are trying to save for something. They're trying to either save to, to go home or whatever. They're trying to do save for other things, other issues that they have going on in their lives. And they have to cut back. And there are, like I said, there are ways to do it. Also, blue jugs. You get the blue jugs over here for your water, for your clean water. Instead of going out and buying bottled water, buy blue jug water and buy, buy a, a, a cheap thermos or something like that. And drink your water out of the cheap thermos. You know, and the water is just as good as, as, as the um, spring water or or the purified water that you buy in the stores. It's just as good, only it's cheaper. You know, and shop around like in the marketplaces, the wet markets, to get your Coca-Cola, to get your some of your foods and some of your meats and some of your chickens and stuff. You'll get better prices there. Uh, or just don't eat as much, you know. 
Um, find different ways of cooking that you can cook with more rice. Rice is a filler. It's a good filler. But like I said, even though rice isn't good for you, cut back on the rice a little bit and just try to use, like I said, use that time as, as a time to cut back. <clears throat> try to lose weight or whatever. Go out and exercise. Keep yourself busy during that time so you won't be going to the movies. You won't be going to the malls. Go out and exercise. Use that downtime that you're trying to save money or whatever to do other things, to keep yourself busy. Watch, you know, watch free movies. Watch YouTube movies or, or what have you. There's stuff out there. Don't be... You know, don't be going to the mall because that's going to be, you know, forcing you to spend money when you want to get an ice cream at the mall. You want to stop in a store and get something. You're always going to be tempted if you go to the mall. So stay away from the stores. That's what those, I mean, a lot of those are pretty obvious. But to some people, when you're, when you're stressed from, you know, from, from money or having issues or something like that, you don't, you don't think of these things. But, you know, sometimes you can make it into like a game and say, you know, hey, I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure out all the ways I can save money and see where I can get myself down to. And I've had people write to me and tell me that they've actually taken this to like a new level and they've they've survived on three hundred dollars a month or whatever. And I'm you know it's not something I would want to do, but if you could if you if you want to do it, that's up to you. But I mean, like for me, I'm lucky. I I have the income coming in, and I know we have people coming over here that older guys that are living on the lower budgets and stuff like that. And if you you know you can still have all the benefits. Of, of what I have, you know, on a, on a higher budget and still stay cool with ceiling fans. And granted, those things cost you a few bucks or whatever, but over the long term, they're going to save you money, you know. And, um, you know, sometimes you can just live with a fan, you know, if, if you can't afford your AC that month or whatever, whatever, you know, things like that. Use your phone more often <clears throat> than your big screen TV. Sit and watch your phone or whatever. Watch, watch movies on your phone or whatever. That's going to save you money. You know, keep your lights out in your house. Keep your lights off outside. Make sure all your lights are off. Um, you know, all that stuff is going to save you money. There's ways that you can you can get your budget way, way down to almost nothing here in the Philippines. Because, and it doesn't mean you have to live totally like a Filipino and eat Filipino food. You can still eat decent food. There's ways to prepare your rice so it's more Western versus the ways that they cook it. I mean, I don't, a lot of... I'm not a big fan of, of Filipino foods, but I love the Philippines, you know? So I, I, I have ways of cooking rice that, that, that they probably wouldn't normally cook. Like I'll cook rice with, with eggs and, and make fried rice and stuff like that with ginger and all that stuff and, 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 and some chicken or pork or shrimp or whatever, and I'll dump all that in there and I'll, I'll, I'll make my own fried rice. And, and it comes out really, really good. It's delicious. And those are great, great ways to save some money, guys. Just... If, you, if you're careful and you really put your head onto it, you know, and you wrap your head around everything and say, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this happen. You can do it and, and live fairly cheap here in the Philippines and have a decent, low-cost budget and live fairly well. And, you know, just watch, you know, if you pay attention to co different companies, the, 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 the specials, the promos and stuff like that on um, phone plans. Phones is another cost in the Philippines. It's not that much. Because most people use like um, Wi-Fi or the Magic Data or, or whatever on their phone so they can save money. But if you have Magic Data also, don't forget you got the hotspot. Keep that in mind. That's, that's that, like we, I mentioned in the beginning, the hotspot is great for your computer or whatever. You use that hotspot and you got everything that you would normally have with Wi-Fi. So if you don't have the money to afford Wi-Fi, but you have a good cell signal inside your house, hotspot might be the way to go for a while until your, your, your income comes up. And if it doesn't come up, at least you got it all figured out so that you can survive. Or go down to McDonald's or go into like um, Starbucks or whatever and get a small coffee or go into McDonald's and just use their Wi-Fi there or something or sit outside McDonald's and use their Wi-Fi. You know, or go into one of the restaurants that you can sit there and just order a drink or whatever, something cheap. And that maybe you just need to use Wi-Fi once a week. That's a way to get around it. And you can still have a nice cup of coffee and enjoy yourself for a day or whatever to do, do all your bills or whatever. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show. It's been something I've been, you know, I've been thinking about doing for a while because I've had a few people ask me about doing another budget video about budget savings, and I figured I'd do this one today for those guys. So God bless, guys. Take care.